What's up, everyone? So here we go. I'm about to do our first test of our drone. Let's see if it actually flies. So let's go. Testing completed, let's go home and talk about it. As you saw in my last video, the package arrived in a plastic bag just like this. Inside the plastic bag, we have a carton box. The box looks a little beat up, but it isn't so bad. Inside of the box, we have a small cushioned carry-on case. It is small, but it seems that it had enough protection for our drone. Because as you can see, it's still in one piece. Inside we have a thin layer of foam around the drone, but the controller has no extra protection. We can also see a plastic bag with extra pieces. No battery, you will have to get the battery separately. We can see extra propeller pieces and a small screwdriver. I think this will be useful judging by my flying skills. Now let's look at our drone. Let's open up the wings. First open the ones that look like legs. Let's start the power to show that it still works. Blinking lights means it is not connected to a controller. Okay, we see the drone is alive. Now let's take a closer look. I see no scratches at all. That is pretty amazing, considering the hard faults it had. The battery, on the other hand, it would pop out from the hard faults. It would come out just a bit, then you have to go push it back and start the whole process all over. Let's quickly talk about the controller. The antennas on a controller are fake. It's just cheap plastic. The controller needs three AA batteries. Besides that, I would suggest you read the instructions. All these buttons are useful and the instructions will tell you what they're for. So what did I learn from all of this? 
first I learned that I can't fly a drone. I think I need a lot more practice. I also learned that not everything gets damaged in a simple plastic bag, even though I was warned that Timu stuff comes broken. I also learned that a $17 drone can be a fun learning tool that will not break a bank even if you need to buy a few of them. I think this could be a pr good present for a kid. Now about this drone. Battery life is about 25 minutes and it takes a bit over an hour and a half to charge. The camera records I think at 480p. Quality is not so good. But to be fair it's only a $17 drone. It can, it can fly very well when there is no wind. It cannot be controlled at all when there is wind. The Wi-Fi connection with the phone is not so good. It disconnects very often and it's a pain to get it going. I don't think I will be using the phone as a controller anymore. Besides that, I think this drone was a very good buy and I'm pretty happy with my first Timu purchase. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned something new, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more future videos like this. Thank you and have a good day.